All right, today we're going to work on downloading the Bitem wallet to your desktop. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to open Google Chrome. Type in bitem.io, B-Y-T-O-M.io. Okay, now you're going to click on Wallet. And what's going to come up next will be the choices of wallets you want to do, depending on the operating system. You have your Windows, Mac, and Linux. We're going to choose Windows 64-bit for this desktop. And we're downloading the zip file now. I speed up the video a little bit to make it a little quicker for you guys. So when the zip file is done, we're going to open it. You can see this page. You're going to navigate down to where you see the application file, which is the Bitem Wallet application. Click that. Extract all. I'm going to do it right to the desktop. Again, this is sped up a little bit to make it a little quicker for you watching this. So it's downloading everything now. And now we're going to end up click on this again. And this time we're going to click on more info. And then we hit run anyway. And your wallet's going to open up now. Now you're going to join the Bitem mainnet. We're on the mainnet now, no longer the testnet, just the mainnet. Join the network. It's connecting to Bitem Core now. I'm going to allow access for my PC. Count alias, I'm going to put in whatever alias I want in here. I'm going to just use this as a test user, so I'm going to test user one. You need to put your own alias in this place. The key alias is an alias for your keys. I just again, I'm just going to use test alias. Uh, excuse me, test user one again. Uh, you can make up whatever alias you want. Key password here. I want to make a strong password. Make sure you make this a very strong password that no one else knows. Uh, repeat your password and click on register. This is your account. There's no transactions, of course, because he's got it. Click on assets, balances, nothing there. Click on assets, keys. There's your XPUB. Hit on more. This is your full key right there. Do not give that to anybody. Your alias, test user one. All right, so now I'm going to come back here and go to accounts, click on that, click on training. I'm just clicking around a little bit. So there's nothing in here right now to really look at. Look at accounts view details, and then you'll see your address down here at the very bottom, which is addresses. That's your wall address right there. I'm going to highlight that for you. Boom. Oh, let's do it that way. There we go. Highlight that for you. That's your key, private key. Do not give that to anybody. And now we're going to do a backup. We're going to back up our wallet to make sure we keep it. I suggest you back this up more than one place, maybe to a uh, zip drive or, excuse me, to a uh, thumb drive or something like that. So I'm just going to back up here on this desktop here. And that's really it. That's your wallet right there. It's a pretty simple wallet. Hey, you click around, look, see what's, you know, there. Click on key accounts, view details, test user account. So I just want to share with you guys a answer that someone received from Bitmain regards to the uh, payout of the item. And it basically saying they're delayed till next Monday. So they'll be delayed to next Monday. Uh, please wait patiently. And the address is going to be in the ERC20 token address. So that means you're going to have to go to my ether wallet or another wallet like that and download a ethereum wallet uh that way you can have an ERC20 token address that way you can use it. you can use any ether address for ERC20 address anyway good luck hopefully i answer some questions for you have a good day